We saw Lowry short right. It's a disappointing chip, actually. Yeah. 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 There's no remarks, Colin. It's a par. Good chip now. It's a good chip. I told you we had a good chip, Jay. Still on the path, please. Up to four. Second shot at the par five for Shane Lowry. This will really suit his eye. A little uh, butter drawer of his. Step through, too. That needs to carry. He's got to carry the bunker. Oh, oh flushed from Shane Lowry. And even those only partially help. The wind swirls so much in amongst these trees, you never really know exactly what it's doing. Shane Lowry makes yeah. the eagle at the fall. So Lowry to 12 under par. We'll see that in a moment's time, but this is down the ridge for Shane Lowry. You can see the angle he's putting at. He hits the top about there and starts to drift. Oh. It's just a beautiful effort. It's just about the most natural swing in the game, isn't it? Shane Lowry's just is a great coach, the late Bob Torrance used to say, it's oily. This ball's nestled up against the first cut of rough. Downhill breaking from the right. Oh, takes a break out of that on a downhill. And then you take a break out on an uphill putt. Aggressive birdie putt. Coming off his birdie at seven, Shane Lowry. Right. Love that low stinger. Never going to miss the fairway. Unless it goes through. It was never going to go miss left and right, okay? I'll correct myself. <laughs> well, it had to happen, didn't it, Jay? Lowry just hit it through the fairway. Good line, the first cut of rough. A big slope to the right of the hole. You don't have to take it on a direct line to get it close. Is it going to come off of there? Oh, just right of the slope. That was so close. He is capable of some special stuff, isn't he? This is fast down here for Shane Lowry. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful hole. Back-to-back -back birdies. Four under after eight. And he gets to 14. To 10 and Lowry. It is right. Very good shot. The narrow portion of the green. The tough hole location of 10. To 10. Great tee shot from Shane Lowry. The Odyssey putting stats. Footage of putts hold today. Oh, massive 127 feet. And Lowry adding to his tally. And Lowry, with three birdies in four holes around the turn, gets it to 15 under, and he is now within one. And that was a hard putt that was made to look easy. And we'll go to 11. And Shane Lowry. Bumpers both right and left from an elevated tee. Doesn't even bother to look. No, it's right down the middle. Playing with a tremendous amount of confidence, holding nice putts. And at 15 under, middle of 11 fairway, you have to think right now he's in the driver's seat. A lot's going to change here on the back nine, but already off to a flyer. Five under through the first 10. Nice slope to work it off of to get close to this left hole location. There it comes. Beating down. it down the hill even just a little out to the right this to tie the lead when you think of seven and ten downhill putts he's been aggressive and made them go, go, go. 
He'll shake that off quickly, though. As long as he keeps giving himself chances, he's still got three par fives in the bank. This is the 12th tee, and this is Shane Lowry. Tee shot just made for Lowry. Loves to play that big draw. Position, middle of the fairway for Shane Lowry. He has the ability to throw this up and land it soft for this front hole location. Oh, it's going to go down into the bunker. That is a very deep bunker. He's got enough green to work with. He's got a good lie. It's not a tough shot. Oh, we saw Shane Lowry's second at 12. Not quite on the upslope, maybe just a little, but oh, just magic from Lowry. He's playing like this. He's great to watch, isn't he? Gosh, gave that every chance of going in. And with that birdie, Shane Lowry moves to six under today, and he moves alongside John Rahm at the top. This hole is playing under its bar of three, so it's a very accessible pin. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought that would come back up the slope. The moisture in the green just mm -hmm. holds that up. We've been seeing some Lowry magic. This is a quick one down the hill. We thought it would feed down at least halfway to the hole from this position. It didn't. Oh, that looked good for so long. There's a thousand people in the grandstand behind the 14 green. They were getting ready to erupt. Thousand seats have expanded that grandstand. What a spot to watch that. Yeah, and it's not a bad lie for Lowry, but it's not one that he knows he can get on the green with. It's sitting down a little bit. Grass is growing with him, but it's just nestled enough that he knows a layup shot is going to be the best shot. So this just to knock it over the hill. Mm. Nicely done. Well, that's okay there with the, the pin in the back left today. A little bit of an angle. 10 or 12 feet short of the hole. Let's skid on up. under par and that means McElroy would need something spectacular. Oh. It's going to be a par though, not a birdie for Lowry. So he will stay alongside Rahm at 16 under. And you can bet John Rahm's watching that going just the par at 17. Interesting. A little bit of breeze into their face although there's really just not much here. I think with his normal shape, I don't think he'd be taking it straight over the trees, but he will try and go close to them on that right side. Could be good, Bob. Very good. Fabulous yeah. t-shirt. Lowry is in a great position here. 2-1-5 to go. With the flag, is it? No, just middle of the game, middle took left. That is an absolute scorcher. Just stunning. He was loving that off the front face. That might just be the shot that wins it. The BMW PGA Championship. A nerveless tapping would be nice. Yeah, that would still mean that McElroy would have to make Eagle to match him.
He's had some big parts in his life. And this is definitely right up there with them. free this week at Wentworth and he has set the target at 17 under. It's sort of down the fall line isn't it and you know just left of it it goes left just right of the fall line it goes right. Can he read it? Shane Lowry. Shane, many, many congratulations. You've made no secret of how much you love this championship and this iconic course. You've come close here before. What does it mean to you to be the BMW PGA champion 2022? Oh, um, means a lot. It means a lot. It's been, uh, you know, it's been a good year, but I felt like I've been close a few times and I felt like, you know, I've only got a few tournaments left this season and I really wanted to try and win one and obviously this one is right up there at the top of the list I I love it here I've contended in the past and even going down the back nine on sun, uh, today I was like you know the, the, the bad shots that I've hit over the, the years in contention actually started to creep into my head it's amazing what this game does but I'm oh, I'm so happy like I'm honestly words can't put into how much I'm you know how happy I am how much this means to me um, how much I love this tour, how much I love this tournament and um, yeah, I'm the happiest man in the world right now. John Rahm posted 1,600, yeah. 16 under, halfway through your round essentially. Yeah. Can you tell us what you were thinking and feeling yeah. as the, your back nine was unfolding, chasing that target? Yeah, I remember because I remember Alex Noren did it to me one year and he, he the year he won, he shot, went out early and shot 62 and that came into my head and I then, you know, I was trying to, I, I got to 16 and I was trying to get past that but then I had to you know worry about Rory behind me because he could do anything down the last few holes uh, you know how good he is but uh, yeah I'm just uh, I just tried my best I just tried to to hit shots I said to my coach this morning uh, you know I need to just allow myself to play golf today I need to just I'm playing the best golf of my life I need to just allow myself to do that and I did that winning is always an emotional experience we can see that from your reaction were the circumstances this tournament was played in, did they heighten those emotions? I think so, yeah. I think so. Um, you know, I made no secrets as to how I feel about the whole thing at the start of the week. And um, I wanted to go out and win this tournament for myself, first and foremost. But I think for this tour and, you know, everyone that has stayed loyal to this tour and everyone that's done everything for this tour, I, I really feel like, uh, you know, this is, this is one for the good guys. It certainly was one for the good guys. Congratulations, Thanks. Shane. Well Cheers. played. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.